Hi guys, and welcome back to Switch Up. Remember, if you enjoy the content, consider sticking around. We give away free Switch games each and every month to the subscriber most active. Now, Loop Hero originally released back in March of 2021 and quickly grew an avid following, over 500,000 players. At first glance, you could be mistaken for thinking this is just another standard roguelite with some strategic dungeon master mechanics thrown in. But as we all know by now, if Devolver puts their name to something, nine times out of 10, there's more than initially meets the eye. Developer four quarters began with a simple concept and fleshed it out to be anything but simplistic. But is this perpetually looping path a pleasant one? Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. The developer initially created the game without story in mind and then built a narrative around it. Your experience begins where the world ends. Our hero is the only one with the ability to bring back items from memory, for everything else has been erased by an evil force, hellbent on the great reset of all things. While initially a lonesome traveller, the hero will meet and reintroduce both creatures and humans alike. But it's the inhabitants of the village you begin to reform that become your main companions. They are also, like yourself, stuck in the same loops. However, they have fallen victim to repeatedly losing their memories. Your arrival gives this ragtag band hope, and they in turn assist you as you build up your village areas and attempt to reconstruct the world in its entirety, and in doing so face the evil that caused its disappearance. As the title suggests, our loop hero will begin walking a pre-laid out path. It is a roguelite, but like no other you've likely played. You can control the speed with which they move, as well as the combat speed through toggles, but other than that, the movement is automated. Combat happens and time stops between fights to allow you to equip any gear you may have acquired. Loot is ranked in both numerical and colour rarity, but your choices here are incredibly important. You won't always be fighting the simple slimes, and your selections of which gear to equip will allow for the development of a more robust build focused on a specific playstyle. The Vampire Perk allows your attacks to restore health. This is great in combat, but perhaps you'd rather focus on evading entirely or even countering. Each item of gear has stats in these areas, and rather than becoming a jack of all, it's often best to have a focus, a plan. A regenerative ability is much more effective when multiplied across all your apparel. Now, with each battle fought, you'll gain landmark cards. It's through these that you then reconstruct the nothingness. All the land is gone. Ah, never-ending story flashbacks. The cards could be rocks, mountains, forests, groves, or any number of others. Some, such as those rocks, can then be combined in certain ways, such as creating a 3x3 square, which then transforms into a mountain, supplying you with some extra goodies, and then from this mountain a creature will spawn once a day and enter your loop. Ouch. You may have a village card, which on the one hand will heal you as you pass through it, but very often you'll find a negative element balances your choices. That same village gives you quests. You'll encounter then a harder enemy from the quest, which is great for gaining loot and items when defeated, but will be much more difficult and potentially loop-endingly tough. The combinations of these landmark cards is what adds one of the best aspects to the game, experimentation and discovery. Loop Hero is all about putting different cards in unique ways to get unexpected outcomes. Now, without spoiling too much, a very basic example of this is the Meadow card. When placed out in the open, it will provide you a resource but it's when you put it beside any other card in the game that it becomes a blossoming meadow, and it grants you more in return. Cards will usually give you some indication as to what they do, but as for the combinations, well, that's all down to you and discovery. The perpetuality gives you that time. And while this might sound mundane, and honestly, without this knowledge it could become so, it's a fantastic system. Each time you pass through your base camp tile, you have the choice of returning to your town. You can do this and keep all of the resources you've gathered without any penalty. However, if you find yourself out on a run of the loop and you're in some difficulty, you can take a 70% penalty on your gear and return home without any other consequences. The same goes for if you die. However, with both of these, you won't keep the most valuable loot and useful items that you'll need to craft and build more advanced buildings within your town. As you traverse the loop, your gear will constantly be improving as the difficulty rises, and the map filling with the tiles you've placed. Another excellent aspect of the experience is that you have the power. Don't want to place that spider card? Well, don't. 
Want better gear fast and are up for a challenge? Well, place more. However, if you don't use your cards, then new ones enter your hand and the old ones are removed. There are times, particularly earlier on, where you don't want to lose certain cards. Let's just say you might need them. So there's an emphasis on pushing on in terms of using them and also making your choices. Now over here, you'll find a gauge that gradually fills. This is for the boss meter. With each card played, it fills and when it reaches maximum, it's boss time. Another part of the strategy is deciding not to lay cards, let your hero run a few loops to gain better gear, and then play in those so that the boss meet is filled. If ever there was a one more run game, it's definitely Loop Hero. Knowing that your choices determine much of the game's difficulty is a revelation and the antidote to the RNG mechanics so often loosely draped over roguelikes in place of well thought out systems. That's not to say you won't have some runs of bad luck, but you never feel you've lost as much as you gained. There are several different classes to discover through your town's expansion, as well as crafting and upgrading of the buildings. There's always a clear next step to progress, combined with your choices of cards, with a preset limit based on your overall game experience, and there is always constant progression, not easily achieved within the genre, with those 30 minute runs being constantly engaging, challenging, but chiefly unique based on the choices you've made. The game features both touchscreen and controller options, and it's all simple, straightforward and well laid out. It would be best described as sensible. As far as negatives, I think repetition despite how ludicrous that may sound in a game designed around it, it will by its nature get repetitive at times, although this tends to be more down to you not being able to stop playing and putting far too much time in, rather than the repetitive loop being a boring one. For example, reaching a tougher boss can mean multiple failed loop runs, with little progress because you should have returned to base camp and then left for your town taking all the gear with you, but you just had to go for that one more loop. Gameplay scores 19 out of 20, and controls also score 19 out of 20. Loop Hero's visuals won't be to all tastes. In fact, reviewing games for as long as I have, I know for a fact several of you will be turned off within the first minute or so based solely on the visuals. And I have to say, you'd be missing something special. Yes, the visuals are very much a functional part of the game rather than one that personally elevates it. And for myself, I love that they harken back to classic adventures from the ZX Spectrum days, but that's all very subjective. Performance-wise, it's solid. However, I have had a couple of crashes with some error codes I've never seen before. Thankfully, it auto saves literally every minute, so nothing's ever been lost, and that's with over 15 hours of play. As for soundtracks, Loop Hero has a gold standard 30 track OST that absolutely slaps. <laughs> It's incredible, and there's a song to match every occasion. The only critique I could level are at the sound effects, which, like the art style, are a tad selectively limited. <laughs> Visuals and performance score 14 out of 20. Audio scores 19 out of 20. <laughs> The game retails at £13.49, minus 10% if you pre-ordered early. Loop Hero is a substantial slice of gaming goodness for a very reasonable price. Besides a few technical hiccups that I believe are incredibly rare, having spoken to a few other review channels, this is absolutely worth your money and moreover, it's worth expediting up your current backlist. What at first appearance may appear to be just another retro game is anything but and defies definition deftly with gameplay quite unlike anything else. If you're after a physical edition, special reserve games have been lucky enough to snatch up the rights. We'll be releasing a lovely looking one. I would say though, be quick as I have a feeling this is going to sell out fast. Value scores 19 out of 20. I expected Loop Hero to not meet my Devolver expectations based purely on how I perceived the game from the outside looking in. Having plumbed a decent 15 plus hours into it, I can honestly say this is a fantastic and unique experience that perfectly marries strategic gameplay with an old school RPG feel. Definitely one for our next addictive games list. It scores a switch up score of 90%. Thanks to Devolver for the review copy. Please let me know in the comments if you enjoy the look of this one or if perhaps, like I said, you initially felt put off. Now, I'm afraid I must go. I must run one more loop. Thank you to our patrons for supporting us as always and to all of you that watch the channel. As promised, we finally got our website live in the American regions. You can buy your eShop vouchers, etc. on there. Save yourself 5% using code SWITCHUP and also support the channel if you enjoy it. So cheers for that. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it SWITCHUP. Cheers, guys. See ya!